In this example, we're going to try to integrate cosecant squared of x over 2 solution. So if it was just cosecant squared, we, should, we would be able to do it um, just simply by thinking. However, it's the cosecant squared of x over 2. So we should make a substitution to make it look a little bit better. So the natural choice is to let u be this inside piece here. So we'll set u equal to x over 2. Really nice. And now we have to differentiate this. It might be helpful to think about this as follows. This is u equals 1 half times x, right? Because it's the same thing. It's really x over 1, so this is the same as this. And now when you differentiate du, it's the derivative of u, which is just 1. Derivative of x is 1, so we just get 1 half dx. So much easier to think about it for most people by performing this, um, this little first step here. The goal is always to make this look like whatever is up here in your integrand. However, uh, down here we have a 1 half and up here we don't. So we have to get rid of it. So let's maybe multiply by 2. So I'll put a 2 here and a 2 here. Boom. So this is 2 du equals dx. Really nice. All right. Beautiful. So now let's go ahead and make the substitution. So we have the integral. And we have the cosecant squared. So cosecant squared of, let me just write the 2 again, of u, because the inside piece is u. That takes care of all of this. And then as for the dx, well, that's right here. That's 2 du. So here's the du. And let's go ahead and pull that 2 outside of the integral. Remember, you can pull constants out all day long. You just can't pull variables out. All right. Um, so now we are, we, well, you can't pull variables out that you're integrating with respect to, right? So if you have like a dx here, you can't pull out an x. You have a du here, you can't pull out a u. Constants you can pull out. So we have to integrate this. So what's a function whose derivative is cosecant squared? Well, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So this is going to be equal to negative cotangent of u plus our constant of integration, capital C. The two just hangs out. And you can check this, right? The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. There's already a negative here, so it'll become positive. We're not done, though, because we still have a u here in the problem. So what we'll do is we'll go back to x. So this is negative 2 cotangent of x over 2 plus our constant of integration, capital C. Remember, it's always really important to go back to the original variable of integration when you're doing these substitution problems. The original variable in this case was x. In some instances, you might make more than one substitution. In that case, you still want to have to make your way back <laughs> to the original one which the problem was stated in.